Good morning guys. So today I'm gonna film uh, what I eat in a day. I'm working from home today, so I have a little more time than usual. I also woke up early so that I can film the breakfast portion. But yeah, I've been really trying to try more new recipes. I honestly had a phase where I would just literally cook the same five meals on rotation because that was just the easiest. Um, but right now I'm getting a little bored of that. So for breakfast, I am gonna be making a miso soup and I'm gonna try and make uh, one of those Korean Japanese egg omelets, but I'm not gonna use like their the usual ingredients that they'll include I'm just gonna do my normal like what I put in a scrambled egg Which is like egg spring onion salt, but I'm gonna try to make it into the shape I think one of the things that people when you live alone need to learn is how to make one portion size And how to know what your portion size is because all recipes tend to cook for like two or four So right now I'm gonna make one bowl of miso soup, but yeah, let's get started. What you're gonna need is of course miso paste, a non-negotiable, I think, um, some tofu. So I have dashi stock here and um, this will just add so much flavor to the soup, but you can also just use vegetable broth. That's what I heard, but this will really give it that like umami flavor. Um, and then I'm gonna put in some spinach, but usually I think they put in more hearty greens or you can even put in like zucchini. Um, but I don't feel like eating too heavy this morning. And then a uh, green onion. Alright, 
time to eat. Mm. Really good. To be honest, I feel like the dashi stock makes all the difference. So if you can get your hands on that, that'd be great. I got mine from um, Oseo near Leicester Square Station. Mm. Really good. And actually the egg roll was easier to make than I thought. I would just normally scramble it to be honest, but I think I'll try adding the um, like ham and like onion and bell pepper like they do um, in for the Korean version. I feel like it also makes the volume of the eggs more for some reason. I don't know. Like it feels like there's more eggs than two when I look at it. Mm. So now it is 11 and you might have noticed I didn't have coffee with my breakfast. Um, I've been trying to drink coffee a bit later recently because I read online, well, I think generally we all know that it's not good to drink coffee on an empty stomach, but I read online something about basically it's more effective to drink coffee a bit later. Um, you already have the kind of energy you need when you wake up. Anyways, I also just feel better about it um, when I drink coffee not on an empty stomach. So I try to drink my coffee around 10, 11-ish now. And it's 11 right now. So I'm gonna make one before my next meeting. lunchtime but I'm like still quite full for some reason so I'm just gonna have a snack for now and do like a late lunch although that kind of screws up my plan for the rest of the day because I did have some ink things I wanted to make for dinner but I don't know if I'm gonna still make them if I eat dinner or lunch that late but anyways I am going to just eat some grapes It seems a bit late, it's five now. I kind of missed my timing to eat lunch because I got busy with work. I have a yoga class at 6.30 and I was debating if I should just eat after, but I'm getting kind of hungry now. So I'm gonna try and make this in 15 minutes and then hopefully I have time to eat and digest after. But I'm gonna be making a bibimbap for lunch. I think I've done this on the vlog before, but it might've been a while ago. But I make a really simple version. So I already made my rice because I'm in a rush and I just do it on the pan on the stove because I don't have a rice cooker. And you can basically add whatever you want. But what I like to add is a carrot, bell pepper for kind of color and flavor. I'm gonna add spinach again, but sometimes I use cucumber too. Like fried cucumber is really good. And I'm gonna add like a bit of zucchini, not the whole zucchini. And then I have ground beef um, that I'm gonna saute with a little bit of onion. Um, and yeah, let's get started. I'm gonna try and do this in like 20 minutes.
did I just not film everything? Okay, well, I just put the sauce on <laughs> my bibimbap, but I am starving. This is probably one of my favorite things to make. It is kind of a lot of work and you could just not make it pretty and just combine all the vegetables in one stir fry and then put it on top. But there's something satisfying about eating it like this, even though all I'm gonna do is mix it up. And it's so flexible with whatever I have in the fridge. I'll just, um, I'll just basically chop it up and toss it in. And you really don't need like a fancy bibimbap sauce. Um, like just the gochujang is really good. And yeah, I just love the combination of like the meaty flavors with that it's a little bit sweet because I had sugar in it. And then also all the vegetables, crunchy. I don't think I'm gonna be able to eat another meal after this. I might have a snack, we'll see. So I finished Transit Love. If you haven't watched it, you should go watch it. It's a dating show, Korean dating show. I watched the second season and I also watched the first season actually, but oh my God, second season, so much better and so much more dramatic, but at the same time, way more heartfelt and like everyone was so good on it, the show. I moved on to Pink Lie. It's another Korean dating show. It doesn't seem to be as popular as Trans of Love yet, but it's like everyone in the show has a lie that they, they keep. It's nothing like, illegal. It's more like something that people will have a prejudice against and they try to date and find their true love without like this prejudice but you know like they slowly all find out and yada yada. But anyways I'm gonna watch that while I eat. Let me just show you guys a bite of this. Mmm. So good. I usually have a little more kimchi on the side so I can top it every bite, but I'm too lazy to open a new bag of kimchi right now. so shiny. Alright, I think that's the last thing I'm gonna eat tonight. <laughs> um, I actually had dinner a dinner meal plan to cook. I was gonna make some tuna salad, but I'm actually quite full today. So I'll save that for another video. It's just sort of by whenever I have time and what I feel like eating. Um, the bibimbap is definitely like a heavy meal. It's definitely worth two meals, I think. And I made quite a big portion. But yeah, it's 8 p.m. now, so I am just gonna do a little nighttime stretching, reading, and then head to bed. I hope you guys enjoy this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!